Hi everyone and welcome back to another watercolour video. Okay, so this one's going to be a pencil and wash and the scene is a place called Salt House in Norfolk. Uh, Salt House isn't the house that you see there in the picture. Salt House is actually a village there in Norfolk, right on the north Norfolk coast. Beautiful place, I've been there many times. And what always draws me to scenes like this in Norfolk are the red pantile roofs um, set against the blue sky. It's a wonderful contrast um, to using your paintings, especially when you've got a few green trees um, you know, around the, the red roofs of the buildings there. You've got all the, you know, the really strong primary colours all nestled together. Um, it makes for a lovely focal point, lovely strong contrast in the painting. And that's exactly what we've got here in this scene. Um, I haven't put a reference photo up um, of this on the screen, but the reference photo will be over on my Patreon page. I will leave links to Patreon in the description below and on the end screen cards as well. Um, and there'll be, I think there's five other lessons to accompany this one. You see the line drawing and all the detail, all in full. Uh, the whole project's covered from start to finish. Um, all the contents there, all in real time. You see everything. Um, so it's quite easy to follow along with this one. Now the materials I'm using are Dale Rowney Langton Prestige watercolour paper, 140 pounds in weight. And the paints that I'm using are a mixture of various brands from um, Windsor & Newton Artist range to their Cotman range. Um, there's a few Daniel Smiths there and there's a few by Van Gogh as well. And a few of my own homemade paints in there as well. Um, I'll try and find links to a lot of the products that I'm using and I'll, I'll link them in the description below for you. Okay, so let's talk about the painting then. Um, as you saw at the start of the video there, I wet the paper all over with clean water and I'm working the colours in wet into wet to get that nice soft diffuse look in the sky there. Um, as I mentioned as well, it's the pencil and wash technique, which basically means I do a fairly full on line drawing. Um, I include some of the tones and some of the textures and I allow those to show through the washes of watercolour. Um, in some places the pencil work gets completely covered, uh, but in other places it's allowed to show through the washes to create that texture and detail um, and a little bit of tone as well. It's actually my favourite way of working in watercolour. Um, being someone who uh, mostly works in graphite, um, using this method is quite a, a natural progression actually because you can rely a lot on your underdrawing, you know, your graphite drawing there, and just very simple washes applied on top, um, you know, with a combination of wet into wet, dry brush techniques, uh, wet onto dry, and that kind of thing. Um, and I use a lot of glazes as well. That's um, another key method that I use um, in my watercolour painting techniques. Um, I like to apply light layers and build them up gradually, uh, you know, to achieve the effects that I want. It also works very nice as well with the pencil and wash technique because you can control the strength of the washes, you know, allowing um, how much graphite you want to show through, um, at, you know, at any point in the painting. You've got full control um, over the detail and the textures. You know, if something's looking too detailed, you can just apply another glaze and it'll just gently soften it back a little bit more. So it's a wonderful technique. Um, you know, if you're a graphite artist, and you've been curious about watercolours, well this is a great technique um, to get you started and get you into watercolours. And it's a, another technique that I think you'll kind of fall in love with eventually as well because um, you can achieve really nice realistic effects um, and you've not got to stress out too much about creating tone in colour. You know, you can use the pencil to create most of the tone um, at the drawing stage and then all you've got to worry about is just getting the colours right on the painting and that's it. It sounds really easy, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it really is. It really is that easy. You know, I get a lot of people contacting me saying that um, they've been painting in watercolour for years, they've not had a lot of success and they've virtually given up and then they stumbled across my videos using this pencil and wash technique and they gave it a go and they had instant results, you know, instant success with this. I mean, obviously they could draw a bit, so you know, they, all they had to do was um, just apply the watercolour in light layers, and um, they had success straight away. And I've had a lot of emails and people contacting me saying the same thing. Um, I mean, let's face it, watercolour, you know, it is a tricky medium um, to get used to um, when you're a beginner. But using this method, um, you know, it's, it, it doesn't take years to get used to it. Um, it's basically just, you know, painting in the lines. 
Um, and that's another thing, over on Patreon, um, I do provide a line drawing for you to um, download, and you can trace that if you want to. So even if you're not very good at drawing, um, but you like the idea of this technique, there'll be a line drawing provided there for you that you can just trace straight over, and just apply a little bit of shading, a little bit of tone with a pencil, and then you're ready to start painting watercolours in no time at all. So if this is something you're interested in and you'd like to have a go at this, um, over on my Patreon channel there's lots of projects like this for you to follow along with. And there's lots of graphite tutorials over there as well. And for just $4 a month you will get full access to all of the content on there, which are hundreds of videos, um, lots and lots of projects. Um, there's tips and techniques videos, Q&A videos, all sorts of videos over there. For just $4 a month, you'll be able to access everything. Um, or for just $1 a month, um, you'll get access to reference photos, line drawings for you to download. Um, you'll also get access to the community as well, where you can post your artwork there. Um, you also get that with the $4 um, tier level as well. Um, but just for a dollar, you can um, access the community section and join in with all the chat there. We've got a really fantastic community of people over there all posting their fabulous artwork, very supportive, helpful community there. Um, I'm sure you'll love it over there. So um, again, I'll leave links in the description below and in the end screen cards as well. Um, and it'd be fantastic to see you over there, it really would. And of course, I'll be there um, to help you in any way I can to answer any of your questions. Should you need any help, you know, I'm always on hand. Um, all you've got to do is just ask. And you're not committed to anything either. You can just pull out um, at any time you want to. Um, but most people, um, when they join, they do stay for a long time. Um, I've been on Patreon now for several years, and um, I've had people that joined, you know, in the first week, and they're still here today. You know, they love it there. And there's content posted um, continuously, um, all the time. Uh, we have vlogs over there, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, there's just too much content to really mention. You know, you've really got to um, get involved and uh, see what it's all about. Okay, so I won't plug Patreon anymore. Uh, I think that's enough of that. Okay, so back to the painting then. We're, we're just about at the end now. We're just putting a few final touches on. Um, and then we've got the trees to contend with. Now trees are something that a lot of artists struggle with uh, in watercolour, particularly beginners. But I've found again that the pencil and wash technique um, is a brilliant way to actually cope with the detail of trees. Um, doing that underdrawing first and getting all the tones and all the textures down and then just applying light layers well light glazes really of watercolour on top gives you a really nice effect and you still get the detail and the texture showing through so it's a very simple method um, of creating trees with lots of detail and texture very quickly and very simply now obviously this is only a quick 10 minute video um, and an overview of this painting um, so I talk about the techniques and the methods in much more depth over on Patreon. You know, there'll be um, lots of tips and techniques there about how to avoid the graphite smudging when you're applying the layers um, of watercolour, how to mix your glazes um, for layering techniques, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's all talked about in a lot more detail and greater depth uh, over on Patreon. Okay, so I think we're just about at the end of the video now. Now, I must just say one more thing. Um, I've noticed that when I post the uh, final painting up at the end of the videos, it looks a different colour to the painting that you're actually seeing now. That's because I'm using two different cameras there. Um, and also I'm using a very strong LED light, daylight bulb, as I'm painting here. Um, and it's kind of bleaching the colours out a little bit. So the final painting that you see um, right at the end of the video is more the truer colour of what the painting looks like in reality. Um, this looks a little bit washed out, um, you know, the colours are a little bit kind of blown out here um, from the LED lamp, so the final painting uh, will look like the real thing. Okay, so I'll let you watch the video in peace now, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody, bye for now.